So it looks like James Charles' tour now also might be cancelled as well. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Now please subscribe to my channel before we get into this video. I would massively appreciate it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for consistent content. And hit me up on my Instagram. The handle is below as well, Murad underscore Morali. Now let's get into this new update that we have been given from this whole James Charles scandalous situation that just keeps on and keeps on unraveling where we have a plethora of different situations occurring literally day by day. And what we're really seeing here now is that he has now been first spotted. I think we're going to get into that first. James, how are you? Any comment? Is, what, is Tati uh, correcting what she's been saying? Straight man, James. Where he's flying back from Brisbane and he obviously is going back to the US, to his own country. And we see him and he, the paparazzi are following him around, asking him questions. And he isn't saying anything. He's very quiet, very solemn, looking down as if he's like, looks very upset. He looks very, you know, not, he's known for not also being a sexual predator, but he does smile a lot. And he's very gleeful in, in how he acts and talks. And here it was a complete different image. Is your tour going to continue, James? And it was also quite shocking to see paparazzi following him around. A lot of people were saying that perhaps he faked the paparazzi. <laughs> he paid them and, you know, there were a few tweets circling around and this one did definitely catch my eye. I feel like it was definitely an interesting tweet. Team Tati says, although it's biased, she says, I'm a fashion designer, certified MUA and stylist. I can break it up for you. When you dress your client, you do it to evoke certain feelings from the rest. Breaking down his outfit, he is wearing a denim jacket over a hoodie. That is something you would see mostly on his brand. His brand is in front of the hoodie. And not just that, he is wearing the Rainbow Sister merch when we are close to Pride Month. True. The black pants are there to mute the bottom and the heels are a distraction for people to say he is still being himself. At the same time, those shoes are needle high heels and not that high. Those are meant to be seen but ignored by those not, close, not, not, not looking closely like most people. He is wearing makeup. He cancelled his, uh, his beard and coloration for a more jovial glowy look for a more jovial, glowy look that will get young in your mind. So obviously this kind of tweet, this examination of where he was spotted and the outfit that he's wearing and his mannerisms, the body language, really is reflecting that perhaps there is a concoction or plan behind what he's doing, there's a motive. He looks very solemn. He looks very, you know, young. He looks very, you know, upset and you know people do feel sympathetic for him and obviously that could have been a plan put in action also a promotion from sister apparel <laughs> So again, we have to also consider that there could be some bias in these tweets. I feel like there definitely is some truth as well. And I feel like the paparazzi were definitely paid because he was being escorted by um, no bodyguards. And there's only one paparazzi there. So I feel like, and he's kept asking questions about the whole scandalous situation and he was just ignoring it. He looked, he looked beat down. And I feel like that look, Although he wasn't physically beaten down, he did look drained. Obviously anybody would be, but I feel like there is definitely some careful devising plan behind the look that he had. I feel like there's something there. I don't feel like everything was just naturally done and he's walking out. I feel like his PR team, or they're all obviously in havoc right now because his, this particular person they will work for is crashing down before our own very eyes. So now before now that we've dissected and analysed you know, the whole airport now finally being spotted kind of, part of this video. The second part is obviously his tour. Now what's going on with his tour is that it starts end of June, beginning of June or so forth, which is only a month away from here. And I don't feel like you can do enough damage control for everything to be okay within a month. What I do recommend is for him to be completely postponing his tour, 
taking a massive break from social media, backing away from everything and just focusing not only on himself but just on not being in the limelight because I feel like oversaturation can just be as bad as not being in the limelight. And we all know we've got way too much of James Charles and literally everyone is talking about him now whether it's reviewing him or coming out with their own experiences or people who didn't even know who he is everybody's just obsessed with knowing about the situation so i feel like it's best not to cancel this tour there are tweets going around and people commenting saying they're no longer going to this tour they're trying to get refunds apparently like 60 to 80 percent of people don't want to go or are not going so what we are seeing here is not somebody who is having their brand completely damaged only on youtube or social media it's also being fruitioned and also also being transgressed into real life and what i mean by that is his tour sales are crashing down the people are not complaining that they don't want to go his tour might get cancelled that's probably why he had to fly back to the us sister apparel his new store apparently is empty now and nobody's going compared to the video he was taking when everybody was running over and this is interesting because it, what it shows is not only that his subscribers are malleable but that they're obviously very young and very young people whether they're 10 to 15 that age demographic are always going to be malleable because they are just young kids so it's interesting to see how they quickly just change like that just by watching a video and seeing what's going on with these particular issues so not only is his tour now possibly getting cancelled the store of clothes that he just recently made is now possibly going to get cancelled as well so they need to do something big to obviously turn this around because i don't think they can for a very long time i feel like he needs to just take a break time will tell if this will help or not but i don't feel like he should go on tour because really and truly what's going to happen now people are going to go on tour with him in terms of um not not the PR team, um, his audience and who, whoever actually goes to it and obviously James Charles won't be in full spirits because of everything that's happening, people will catch on to that, they will take videos of the situation and that will create more and more drama. The makeup kind of beauty community, especially in the US, is so saturated with so much drama that you forget that they do makeup, they, you forget that they actually are there to beat their faces and tell you what they do you can tell that the, all that natural interest gets drowned out by so much drama that it just becomes effortlessly tiring and draining for not only the people involved but everybody viewing it it's like when is it going to end why am i going to stop making update videos on this situation because everyone's still doing so because like before was Nikita getting involved and making tweets about it and Jeffree Star making his tweets about it and now apparently Jeffree Star taking out his involvement within his clothes store and now apparently his tour is going to get cancelled it's like everything is crashing down now granted i feel like the subscriber drop is somewhat plateaued i don't feel like it's going to go anything below 12 million for now although 3 million is a lot i still feel like he has still has a lot of subscribers just take a break from youtube come back to it within two to three months with like another video to show you to show that you're changing or that you're progressing in a way to instill a form of hope because i feel like this tactical kind of paparazzi kind of airport scene it's interesting because we're in a whole world now of all of this so we can easily pick up on stuff if he did this five years ago we wouldn't think there would be any weird intention behind um his look at the airport whether it be his the way his makeup was done the promotion tees the heels that he was wearing how his look looked a bit like you know solemn looked a bit beaten down looked a bit oh feel sorry for me and um, you know that kind of intention i feel like something like that is definitely there do let me know what you guys think about this situation now of his tour getting cancelled do you guys feel like he deserves to get his tour cancelled or do you feel like there's a witch hunt going on and he, everybody's just jumping on him now and I do want people to remember, although he does deserve some of the stuff that's going on, he is 19. 19 is a very young age. And mental health is something that we need to take quite seriously. And this is why, this is another issue that I have with Tati's video. Like, okay, he's done so much wrong, but the way you did it, even if you went to drama channels, the way you did it, you should have known that a lot of people are going to start blasting him and he's a young kid and he may not be able to take that and he might even commit suicide. So I feel like there's a lack of thinking from Tati's side. This, this doesn't excuse James for what he, he's done, but sometimes irrespective of what somebody's done, you need to sit down and talk to yourself about what situation is best. Because this might happen tomorrow and then Tati might feel very guilty. Who knows? I feel like we need to put that into the conversation as well because that is a very interesting topic.
Do let me know what you guys think about this particular scenario. Please follow me on my Instagram, Mirage and Skull Morali, and obviously click that button. I would massively appreciate it. The subscription button is just down below. It's one button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I would massively appreciate it and be grateful. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. Comment down below. I'll read all your comments and I'll catch you guys soon.